Okay, so like I said, um, we're going to calculate. Um, remember, that comes down over there, that would be 90. And if you add the 90 with this, it will give you 96.00. As we can see here, that A is 40 degrees, 30 minutes and zero seconds. And then this part over here is 21.050. So which means to get A, we need to, call, we need to take this amount and we minus it from that amount. Okay, so yes, so I'm going to type everything out as I explain. Um, yeah, as I explain. Mm -hmm. Let me just make um, the font and put it in bold. So we're going to calculate angle D, A, B, um, so to calculate angle A, we set the 40, 30, um, 40, 30, 00, minus 21, gives us amount of 19, 25, 00. Calculate. D, B, C, which equals 45.30.00 minus the 6.20.00, which is this one over here, minus that one, to get this one here inside which will give us 39.0.00. Next, we're calculating A, A, D, F, which is A, D, F. So it's this whole one over here, which is this whole one here. We will say 180 minus 90, minus 40, 0 .0. so it's 180 minus the 90, right, the 90, so this is a right triangle, minus the 40 over here, okay, and we get an answer of 50, 50.00, it's angle B, D, E, which is B, D, E, which is the triangle over here. We will say 180 minus 90 minus 44.30.00, which gives an, us amount. No, 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 no. Minus 43.30.00. My is 44.30.00. Right, so we, for this one, we said it's 180 minus this 90 over here because it's C. This one here, 90 minus the 43, which gives us that, which is the. Okay, the next one, A, B, A, D, B. So it's A, D, B, which is this one over here. All we have to do, um, we can either say, minus Yeah, all we could have just said was, we could have taken this two, which is the 50.00 50 50 minus 
um, 0 0.00, which give, would have given us 6.20.00, or we could have said, yeah, yeah, that's all you had to do. So, which means this over here is this one here. The next one would be A, A, B, D. So we will say 180 minus 19.25.00 minus 6.20.00, which gives an um, as amount of 154.15.00. So we need to calculate A, B, D. So which means we're calculating this part. All we're saying is 180 minus A that we calculated here and D that we calculated there, and then it will come down to 154. The next one is D, C, B, which is 180 minus 39.10.00 minus 44.30.00 which gives us 96.20.00 so we need to calculate dcb so what we did was we said 180 minus this one that we did calculate here on top and minus this one, but we could have also said, we could have also just said the 90, which is X here, the 90 plus this 6.20.00 would have given us 96.20.00. Um, Okay, so now that we have all of our, our, our answers, sorry, all of our answers, um, yeah, now that we have all of our answers, we need to calculate the distance. So, um, yeah. So we need to calculate our distance and we need to calculate distance A, B, A, D, which is from year to year, okay? So all you have to do, we're gonna say sine of 154.15.00 over A, D equal to sine of 620.00 over 25.04. And if you're wondering where we're getting the 25, it is this one over here. And then AD, you will get an answer of 98.62. Next, we need to calculate distance BD, BD, which is this distance over here. So it's um, sine of 60, 20.00 over 25.04 equal sine of 19, 25. 0 0.00 over BD. And then the answer that you will get is 75.46 meters. Okay. Um, now we need to calculate DC. And DC is sine of 96. 20.000 over um, 75.46 equal so to sine of 
10 10 over DC and therefore DC's answer answer is 47.92 the next one is df remember dc is from here so this point over here now we need to calculate d to f which is there okay um df would be sine of 90 over 98.62 and if you're wondering where we're getting the 98.62 we calculate it here for ad equal sine of 40.30.00 over df and if you cross multiply and then you will get the answer of 64.0.05 okay so all of that is your your sign rule calculations okay um, i'm going to erase all of that so i hope you're going to take down your notes so i'm going to erase because i have to do another part Right, so now the question states that we need to calculate the height of point D and point C, okay? So, and, 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 and in the year, the, the scenario that they gave, they said the height on the ground of point A, say, okay? So the height of the ground level is 101.56 meters. And then they say the height of the instrument, which is this is the instrument over here, is 1.54, and the and the instrument at B is 1.55. So we need to calculate D point D. Right? So let me just maybe put the text over here to tell you what is the formula. So it is the height, height of a plus height of in type of instrument plus okay this is your formula so we said it's 101.56 which is the height of a plus the height of the instrument at A, which is 1.54 meters plus DF. And we did calculate DF over here, which gave us 64.05. And then the answer you're supposed to get would be 167.21 meters, and that's above sea level, okay? So now we need to calculate point C, but as you can see here, the point D is on top and point C is at the bottom. So all you have to do is you take the height of D, you minus D, C, okay? And the height of D we calculate with is 167.21 minus D, C, which we did calculate and it was 47.92, which gives us an answer of 119.29. We'll just double check 167.21 minus 7.92. Yes, 119.29. And that is basically how we calculate um, something like this. So, Mrs. 
yes this is this is uh, this is how we calculate it um i will be uploading this on youtube you guys will be able to watch it and i will also send a memo if, if you guys um are getting confused thank you